I've been asked a handful of times why I have such a high flow and coolant system on my mill. People were surprised to see that uh, I built such a um, high flowing system. The system I have right now, the way it's set up, flows probably 450 gallons per hour, I think. The reason is these parts that I'm making here, the stock is one and a quarter inches thick. And as you can see from the roughing operation, all these really densely packed chips are the result of that. Uh, this is the last hole that it finished, as you can tell, it's empty, no chips in it. And then this is the first row, so it started here and then worked down this way and then came back up this way. The chip clearing, when I go to do the finishing operation, I have a finisher that plunges in. The finisher itself uh, goes to full depth of cut, and what I'd like to do is not have to take the opportunity in between uh, tool changes to clear out the chips from the uh, the pockets. Removing the chips uh, manually is definitely more tedious. What I've done in the past is actually uh, turn the coolant on. This is when I had the uh, uh, Tormach original equipment style coolant system. I turned it on and then let the coolant flow till the uh, things were emptied out. Maybe help it along a little bit. But that was uh, a few minutes on the tool change. Right now, I can just uh, take the uh, the old tool out, put the new tool in, and then keep going with it. And I don't have to stop. Let me uh, do the tool change and restart it, and then I'll show you uh, exactly how well the chip clearing works. All right, I've got the new tool loaded, and I'm getting ready to start this run. Sealed up properly here, so the coolant doesn't get out all over the place. You can see the chips start to clear already. So let's go take a look. All right, so we still got some chips in the pockets. In fact, some of the small chips too. So it didn't completely clear everything or just move stuff from one hole to the next. 